And it's finale now for our 10 dates in 10 states adventure. ABC producer Erica Scott back from her coast to coast trek, ready to reveal her choice for a Valentine's Day date. There are the 10 guys, there are the 10 dates. Now let's take a look back at what she's learned about dating today. This has been an awesome but exhausting series of first dates. In just 10 days, I've taken 11 flights, been in the air for 31 hours, and almost covered 12,000 miles. You look like a fish out of water. It all started in New York, ice skating with Josh. Show us oh. up! <laughs> that was a great time, I'm glad I did it. Show oh. <laughs> Maybe fell a couple times, but it was part of the fun. I'm um, here to meet Erica. Yeah. Then Hawaii for some snorkeling and paddleboarding at the Alani Resort with Doug. <laughs> Day number three was on the Santa Monica Pier in LA for some old school fun with Adson. Hey, are you Cash? How's it going? Good. Good. And then it was off to the Nevada desert for some dune buggy riding with Cash. But the warm weather didn't last long. Adventures by Disney hosted Tom and I for dog sledding in Jackson Hole. Do you do any water sports? Oh like, yeah, like wakeboarding? Yeah. I don't know why you never go. <laughs> Along the way, I talked to some experts in the field of dating, like the CEOs of Tinder and Bumble. Yeah! Next stop, Colorado, where I met up with John to cheer on the Denver Broncos in the Super Bowl. That was uh, great, me and Erica had a good time watching the game together. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And then I two-stepped in Austin, Texas with Amir. I haven't two-stepped since middle school. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, my lady! And celebrating Mardi Gras in New Orleans with Daniel. We're just really experiencing the night and it's been a lot of fun. Here. Things got cheesy in Chicago with Marcus. Hi Marcus, how are you? Oh, wow. Where we made, you guessed it, homemade cheese. So I'm on my very last date at a very favorite spot of mine, Frank Pepe's Pizza. So let's go find my date. Hi, how's it going? And finally, almost home, I stopped in Connecticut for a traditional pizza date with Mike. I'm more of a, a pen and paper guy, more of I want to go out and meet you in person, but uh, no, this is you are actually my first line date. Nice is definitely the recipe for love. And this crazy journey now coming to a close, my last stop, home. I'm home! <laughs> Come on out, Erica Scott. She is back home Good here job, in New York. Erica. Welcome home, Erica. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Still Woo. smiling. You're yeah. so game all the way. And it looked like you had a lot of fun with all those guys right there. But what did you leave on the cutting room floor there? There must have been some awkward, strange <laughs> moments. Of course. There's always awkward moments, but it was just because I was awkward. They were all great. Mm. I like, For example, in Austin, it was the Monday after Super Bowl Sunday, 8 o'clock. Not very many people on the dance floor. <laughs> Amir was such a gentleman. He was like, we can do it. It'll be really fun. I was completely mortified. But we made it happen. Yes, you did. You look good out there on the dance floor Thanks. with them, too. Editing does some really nice things. <laughs> yeah. You master digital dating fairly quickly. You had friends and family also setting you up. Uh, what do you find is best and what's advice that you give? Sure. So I think if you're single, you really want to find somebody. There's no reason you shouldn't be doing both. It's just a matter of putting yourself out there, casting a wide net. And you're just looking for one person. And um, it really gave me a perspective that there are a lot of nice guys. Yeah. Well, well let's find out who that one person is getting the second date here in New York <laughs> City on Valentine's Day. Oh, the, the suspense of these 10 guys up there. Who is it? So is it? I think I have a new best friend with Tom from Wyoming. I'm oh. going to fly him in, and then my mutual friend Heather with him. We're all going to hang out. It'll be great. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, Tom, I see a big smile right there. What are you thinking? <laughs> How you doing? But thanks to all the other guys that you were badly upset. I, really upset. I, I know the other shit is shit going on. Connecticut's and Connecticut has already <laughs> checked oh, out. No. He's like, I'm out of here. Mike's like, you know what? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, I'm gone. <laughs> So Tom, what was oh, no. <laughs> there, there he is, Mike. There, there is he Mike. is. He's back. Mike is back. What was your first impression of Erica, Tom? Uh, just upbeat personality. You know, had a great time with her. Just kept it light, kept it fun. It was a great time. Wonderful. Well, for oh, all, they, now I, they all disappear. They all. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to be, and it's going to be a long distance um, connection here, and that's something that's very common. We see the, the, the high statistics about the number of couples who 
try and make it work long distance. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. I've had a long distance relationship and I don't recommend it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, all yeah. right. Well, you, you know, you did really well. Thank you, and you thank did really you guys well. for, you know, tagging along with me on the way. But it you was know, a lot of fun. There's an empty chair there because we have someone who knows even more <laughs> than you when it comes to finding that one. Chris Harrison, come on out here, Chris. You've been here with us this morning. Oh, there he is. There you are, Chris. Hi, buddy. Nice to see you again. So Thank give you, you some advice. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Doug lives in Hawaii. <laughs> And then why wouldn't you want to go to Hawaii? Yeah, I mean, geographically desirable, first of all. <laughs> uh, but apparently we've chose Tom. I thought I was the 11th date in the 11th state. I thought this was still... Uh, this, yeah, this, no, this you're the out. Sorry. Closed? <laughs> Sorry, pal. So, how, but the first date went well. Yeah, they all went really well. I mean, they were all great guys. And what set him apart? Well, I think Ooh. the fact that he and I had a best friend that was a mutual connection. And so when I went into it, I just automatically felt really comfortable. And I think we, you know, we spent so much time dog sledding, so you really get to talk, and it was just a lot of fun. So my advice would be to give him advice. What would you like to do on your second date? Where should this go? <laughs> I like Chris. Um, I don't know. I guess anything else that's like a fun activity to go do. I'm not like a sit and hang out around a fireside kind of person. So keep it simple, but a little adventure. <laughs> yeah, There adventure. you go, buddy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Harrison, you, you know what you're doing here. Chris. <laughs> well, there's a reason 20 years yes. of The yes. Bachelor will do that, which we're going to talk about in just a minute. Good luck, Congratulations. Erica. Thank you, Good guys. Luck. Thank you so much. Hey, we want to thank Adventures by Disney, arranging the dog sledding and also the paddle boarding. And to learn more about their vacations around the world, just go to adventuresbydisney.com.